In this episode, we're going to unbox the Aspire rocket kit from Apogee Components, the highest flying model rocket kit from any manufacturer. There are many unboxing videos for model rockets, but wouldn't you like a real rocket scientist's opinion of the materials and parts in the kit? Today, you'll actually find out the inside information so that you know what to look for when you get a rocket kit. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. Today, I'm going to unbox the Apogee Aspire. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this kit first. People always ask me, what's the highest flying model rocket? Well, I designed this in the late 1990s, so it's well over 20 years old now, but it's still the highest flying model rocket. This is what's called a minimum diameter rocket, where the rocket motor just barely fits in. You can put a big rocket motor into a small rocket, and it's going to go astronomically high. Um, this rocket with just an F motor will go over a mile high. And with a high thrust G engine, it'll go supersonic. So it can not only go high, but it can also go really fast. Um, now you could go higher, but you're going to need to be high power certified. So if you're not high power certified, if you're just getting into rocketry and you want to go high and fast, this is the kit. There's nothing that goes higher or faster. So let's open up the package. So it comes in a plastic poly bag. Um, you can see on the cover we have a nice, what's called a face card, that gives you an image of what the rocket will look like and some guidance on painting it if you want to you know, paint it. And I do recommend that. It just makes it easier to find. Um, when you first open the kit, First thing you're going to notice are these paper tubes. Now these are craft paper um, and they're thin wall, which means that they're lightweight because if you want to go high, you got to keep the weight down. So these are thin wall tubes. They're really lightweight. Um, they're, um, they have a white surface finish so that you can mark on them with a pencil. So when you mark in your fin location, use a pencil because that always um, helps to make sure that um, you get a nice surface finish because if you use pen or marker, what typically happens is the solvents in the paint will dissolve the ink and then the ink floats to the surface and it just ruins your paint. Uh, we also have this tube in here. Now this is an alternate engine mount. So instead of flying with the 29 millimeter diameter motors like the F's and the G's, you can fly it with smaller motors like C's and D's, so it doesn't go as high. Um, so that's what this is for. It's, um, it's, a, it's actually called a motor mount adapter since it's going to be adapting from a small motor in a bigger engine tube. Uh, what else we got in here? Let's open it up and see. Uh, we have a nice plastic, glossy uh, plastic nose cone. This is uh, also 29 millimeters in diameter. So it just goes into the tube really nice. It has a big, strong loop on the back. So when you tie your shock cord to it, it's not going to fall off. It's not going to break on you. Um, it is polystyrene, so it, it can be painted quite easily. The paint's not going to flake off on you. It's going to be permanently attached. This is actually called a three to one ogive. So an ogive is part of a circle um, and it gives a good um, low drag shape to it. Um, it's, it's good at low speeds and it's good at high speeds, like supersonic speeds. So it's a good in-between nose cone shape for both low speed and high speed. If you want to just strictly high speed, you want a cone. If you want a low speed, you want uh, a, a parabola. Uh, but this is called uh, an ogive, so it gives you that middle of the ground nose cone shape for both high speed and altitude. Um, this right here is the tube coupler, which we're going to use to join our tubes together. Um, this is also craft paper, um, and it doesn't have the glossy surface. Um, it's, um, it's a matte finish so that when you put glue on it, it's going to stick forever. Um, because this kit goes so high, 
Um, instead of using a parachute, we're gonna use a Mylar streamer like this. And this is, I think, 56 inches long. I don't wanna unravel everything right now. Uh, but it, it's, you know, it's shiny, so it's gonna reflect the sunlight, and it's, it's a nice bright red color, so it's not something that's gonna um, blend in with nature, like, you know, something that was olive drab green. So you got that nice bright color, so you can find it in the sky and on the ground. Um, we also have uh, balsa fins, and this is um, eighth inch balsa wood. Um, there's four fins on the kit, but if you wanna go supersonic, um, what we suggest is changing it from four fins to just three fins. And it'll fly fine on three fins. Um, it just gives you less drag so you can go faster. Um, so these are the balsa wood fins, uh, eighth inch, that's kind of standard, good stuff. Um, again, here's our face card. It tells you how high uh, the rocket's gonna go and it's diameter 29 millimeters and it has a length of 73 millimeters, which is about 29 inches long. Um, inside here, we have um, a vinyl decal. So this is, you know, peel and stick vinyl. You just peel it off and stick it on your rocket. So it's an easy decoration to do. Um, there's also a free coupon in here for a display stand. Um, that's not typically in all of our kits, um, but it is in this production run, so get it while you can. Um, and then inside here, we have the instruction sheet, and it's uh, five pages long. Um, lots of good illustrations, as you can see. Makes it easy to build. Um, then also in here, we have a Kevlar shock cord. This is uh, 300 pounds strength, so this is like Never gonna break this stuff. Um, it's actually stronger than steel for the for the given weight that it is. Um, yeah, this is gonna last a lifetime in your rocket. And then we have all kinds of centering rings. And most of these rings um, are for the motor mount adapter, um, changing it from a 29 to a 24. Um, so that's what most of these rings are used for. And then finally, we have the launch lug on the side of the rocket. And a, uh, this is a a quarter inch launch lug, so it's going to take a thicker launch rod than the normal porta pad size. Um, and the reason for that is because um, the rocket is um, a little bit bigger and it's going to take off faster, we want to make sure that it goes in the right direction. So we do that for safety so that you have um, a good straight flight as well. So this was the Apogee Aspire. It's the highest flying model rocket kit uh, that you don't need high power certification to achieve. Um, it will go over a mile high, so bring your binoculars because you're going to be searching for this one in the sky because when they go a mile away, they're hard to see, especially when you're just looking at that little back end like that. Um, so you'll find it here at Apogee Components. Our web address is www.apogeerockets.com. Thanks for watching.